Hi everyone, it's Darcy Lacouve reporting live from Android Authority. We're here at CES in Las Vegas 2015, and we're with a very special man, the creator and brains behind the Yoda Phone 2 that we recently reviewed. We're here with Vlad Martinov. He's the CEO of Yoda Phone at Yoda Devices, and I'm here to talk about the Yoda Phone 2. Hello, sir. Yes, hello. How are you today? Very good. Good. So tell us about what it took to build the Yoda Phone 2. Oh, that will be a long story. I should say, three, we are a three years old company, startup, and three years ago we was like very lack of knowledge about smartphone business. We didn't have any supply chain and any partners, component suppliers, uh, but we have a great idea and the passion to, to bring it to the, to the market. So basically we start entertaining this idea with suppliers, with investors, and with different partners and slowly we managed to convince uh, quite big guys like Qualcomm, like Inc uh, and a few others to support us and uh, start innovating together with us and uh, providing us with certain critical components. So um, it was not an easy task but we overcame this challenge yeah. and right now we have pretty good and pretty um, uh, successful supply chain and the technological partnership with uh, with the big brands, yeah. leading technological companies. Absolutely. So that was not easy, but it was fun. Yeah. Well, uh, having had reviewed it, um, we think that it's absolutely incredible piece of technology. It's interesting to see. You know, you are dealing with something innovative when you have it in your hands or when you're touching it and experiencing it, and you have that aha. You're like, why did no one think of this before? And so you had the courage. You know, to go and have realize your ambitions, your vision. So I have a couple of tough questions for you, okay, if you don't okay. mind. <laughs> no. So e-ink is a wonderful technology, so power efficient. You can do so much with it. And the fact you made it touch capacitive is wonderful too. Would you ever consider the possibility of making a tablet with an e-ink display on the rear? Uh, we, we did assessment of, of the business case and realized that the most compelling value proposition for consumers uh, will be uh, if it's a smartphone or at least tablet, because one of the key five unique user cases and value for consumers is the power consumption and Yota, we call it Yota Energy, where your phone, Yota phone, can last up to two days uh, on a single charge and all basic uh, smartphone functions available for consumer, for the Yota phone user. Uh, but with tablet, uh, where has a big size screen and a lot of space for the battery, the power consumption become less an issue. So the value uh, and opportunity to justify extra cost for the second display is getting less. So that's why we decided to hold, uh, to put on hold this project at this point of time. But one more comment, like people would prefer to have one device exactly. instead of multiple devices. And the only device which people carry with them 90% of the time, it's a phone. It's, a phone. Oh, it's not like tablets, it's not eerie, that it's not something else. Yeah. So that's why I think we want to excel the Yota phone concept with a smartphone first, mm -hmm. and then to see where we can bring it, keeping consumer in our mind as a, the core uh, fundamental uh, kind of uh, part of our business and our development. So we want to solve specific consumer problems not just to launch the product for the sake of the product. Of course. So, in terms of your ambition and your dream, your vision to create the Yotaphone, how close do you feel you are to creating the perfect device in your mind? Well, it's definitely Yotaphone 2 yeah. is a huge step uh, in, compared to Yotaphone 1. Because yeah, if you remember, so. Yotaphone 1 was a proof of concept. It was, yeah. We, we, we mentioned like we manufacture a limited number of units yes. and we distribute it only to early adapters who really want it. Yes. So basically the idea was to get feedback uh, from Smart. those people, uh, what needs to be done with this concept so it will appeal to mass market, yes. to the mainstream consumers. So we've got a lot of ideas, hundreds and hundreds of ideas, what needs to be done, and we integrated and incorporated a lot of them into Yotaphone 2. So the Yotaphone 2, from our perspective, is amazing, a high quality yes. product, which we've always on display in unique features, which is very user friendly and intuitive for the mainstream consumers. Yes. So from this perspective, it's a great product. Absolutely. Of course, there is always a way to improve. Of course. And we're gonna add more and more applications, more and more widget, more and more different services and content 
Europe always on display. For example, we 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 close the part. We reach agreement with Twitter to okay. develop a specific uh, kind of social media dashboard for the ink display. For the ink display. Smart. Because when people start thinking, it's always on. It doesn't consume much power. Oh, we can do this and that for people who like to use Twitter or like to use certain applications. Yeah. Beyond that, what would you like to see potentially on a Yodafone 3? Have you seen the new e-ink technology that they talked about at CES yet? Uh, we definitely track e-ink technology and many other low power consumption technologies. Yeah. Uh, of course, we are thinking about improving the refresh rate, yes. the contrast, and probably at a certain point of time to add one more color. Uh, but I think what is currently, for the, this year, the highest priority to bring more applications, more content, more services, yeah. uh, to make always on display is so valuable for consumers. So there is no doubt this is, uh, this is really a new way to interact with smartphone. Exactly. This yeah. is a revolutionary new way which is much better for consumers. Yeah. So that's our key focus. And of course, you know um, uh, that we do have SDK. Yes. But we gained, we didn't push too much uh, with Yotafone 1. Uh, because we were very cautious with what we do with Yotafone 1 because of proof of concept idea. But now, when we have a mass market product, you will see, first of all, next version of SDK, and you will see that we invest more in creating ecosystem exactly. of developers for always on display for Yotafone. Fantastic. For the last two years, I mean, again, we came up from Russia three years ago yeah. with this idea, it was so difficult to change the mindset of the key suppliers, of key industry players, of consumers. But only because the support of Android communities, developers, industry experts, uh, I mean, bloggers, the people like you and uh, people who, uh, uh, who are really interested to see innovation, yeah. disruptive innovations, which make user experience better, uh, more convenient, only with your, uh, I mean, with your support, we make it. Uh, we make it through. We overcame quite a lot of challenges, and right now we are, we are, we have a tremendous positive reception yes. of Yotafone 2 in 20 countries. Awesome. We start sales one month ago yep. in uh, most of the European countries in the Middle East, in Hong Kong, in Russia, and Eastern Europe, and so far, the sales is amazing. Selling out? Yeah. Great. And uh, and I think again because the product is. It's great. It's incredibly compelling. And the substantial part of this result is, of course, your contribution, your support, and your ideas, and, uh, and the fact we finally convinced the big brands to work yeah. with us and support exactly. us in this uh, challenging project. And in that regard, I want to say, let Yodafone know how they can make their products better, what you would like to do with the ink display, and I want to say a huge thank you, you know, thank for your you. time, Vlad. Thank you to all of you. Thank you. It's my pleasure, sir. Yeah. Star Slack from Android Authority reporting live from CES here with Yodafone 2. Signing off, guys.